Hey guys, Note here, and today we are back with some more Garden of Ban Ban 4. Today we are hopefully going to be finishing this game so we can move on to other games in the future. But uh, before we get into it, uh, remember to leave a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe down below so you don't miss whenever I post the next video. Whenever that might be. But uh, yeah, with that said, let's get right back in to the Garden of Ban Ban. Here we go. Okay, here we are. So, if you remember in the last video, we just got back from getting the second part. We witnessed Ban Ban and uh, Nab Nab have a whole fight scene, so that was pretty cool. But uh, now, our current objective is probably to go speak to the Queen again. So let's go do that. Rainbow Silly, I'm here. Welcome back. I hope your journey was worth it. And the elevator a little more useful. Mm. We're very close to having it fully fixed. Mm -hmm. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. Mm. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. Other than that, I don't want to keep you any longer. Also, it appears more of your friends have arrived. If you'd like to go check on them. Okay then. So I guess we'll go do that. But also... If you remember, at the end of the last episode, we tried to play uh, a couple of tapes that we hadn't played up to that point. <laughs> but upon trying to play them, the TV bugged out and it didn't display the video. So, let's see if it works this time. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, well, let's go see our uh, new friends, apparently. So, we already listened to this one near the middle of last episode. But, uh, oh. We are bad believers. This is the second entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number two, the teacher, was captured near the elevator that goes down from the third floor. Where a human was also captured earlier. That'd be us. Unlike the snail, the teacher was extremely hostile towards me, citing a missing student from her class as the reason she's even down here. Numerous failed attempts to escape were recorded, but it appears she's finally given up. Wouldn't know who that missing student is. Numerous objects were introduced in an attempt to calm her down, with only a few excess bowling pins seeming to do the job. Definitely not me. The teacher has been sitting in a corner since calming down, repeating the sentence, I can't be late to herself, over and over. Truly an interesting case. Now oh, we got the pillow birds. This is the third entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminals numbers three and four, the birds, were captured by being lured in their current holding cells. Their sudden and unannounced appearance within the walls of the kingdom took me by surprise, but they are now safely contained. They seem to be very territorial, as they did not exhibit any hostile behavior as long as I kept my distance from their cell. It also seems that they were frantically looking for something, although I'm not sure what exactly. The baby! Since containment, they've remained completely still. I think they might be trying to trick me into getting in to check on them. I'm not falling for that. More updates soon. Yeah, they're not completely still because they follow your movements. <laughs> Josh! We witnessed him get captured in the, basically the third quarter of the last video. This is the fourth entry to the Toadster Archives. Criminal number five, the Green Gorilla, was captured by fallen victim to an intricate trap that was designed and set up in the feeding sector by yours truly. So far, the Green Gorilla has been chained so not too much information has been retrieved. So far today, 
We've received seven cases in only a few hours. It's very unnatural. Something up above has happened that's causing these cases to end up down here. Doesn't have anything to do with me, that's for sure. familiar faces in this state. But I cannot risk my health to help old friends that may have gone mad. More updates soon. Dang. Alright. Yep, that's everyone. Alright. Let's go on the journey. To the final section. Doesn't look like anyone's going to be joining us this time. Okay. So it looks like this time we're going to be going to the purple section. Alright then. Let's go. Oh, we're here. Alright. Let's go. Bam, bam, and bambolina are wanted. Golly. Morning exercise checklist. Cognitive, physical, and communicative. Okay then. Alrighty. Ooh. Yeah, that looks interesting. Get your brain work ready with this morning exercise. Three games, two rounds each. Lights out, something in one of the rooms might have changed. Report the room where the changes occurred. Memorize the contents of each room and keep your eyes peeled. Okay, I'm just going to quickly memorize all these rooms real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Now let's start this minigame. There we go. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Okay, I don't think it's this room. Definitely not this room. Let's see. Oh, these things are missing. Okay. There was things on that wall. So it's the bathroom. Hey Josh. Yes sir. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's no chairs in this room. Okay, so it's this one. Alrighty then. Also, I did see a note in the living room area, so I'm gonna go read that real quick before we start the next round. Case 14 was moved to her new dwelling this morning, to which she expressed satisfaction, but, ner but natu natural nervousness. As per management's request, further research on the phenomenon of Case 14's pouch was conducted and while the research has provided invaluable observations, very little in terms of explanation can be confirmed. It appears that any and all geranium grown bodies experience a lot of difficulty leaving the pouch once inside, especially more so if Case 14 chooses to hold the pouch shut. Reflexes appear to loosen Case 14's ability to hold the pouch shut at will. The reason for any of these cases' inability to leave the pouch was has been theorized to be the result of some sort of attraction between GB particles when they are in, within very close proximity, such as a body being within the interior of a pouch. Case is permanently not ready for presentation. Damn, they don't shut down the queen. Golly. Alright, let's start the next round. Okay, doesn't look like anything's changed in here. Okay, well that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Box. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Here we go again. All right, let's see. Nothing in here once again. Nothing in here, once again. As for in here... 
not seeing anything. Uh, it's these things again. Okay. We're gonna start the final round. Okay, let's see. Nothing's in here. Nothing in here. Okay. This is missing. This right, okay, I can't get a circle view. But this right here, there was something right there and it's missing. Here we go. Bah. Last one. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. And it's this one again. Golly. Okay then. Bathroom. Ding. There we go. Open sesame? Yes, sir. Oh, we completed the cognitive test. Oh, the gestures wanted. That one actually makes sense. There he is. I'm gonna get you, boy. Come on. Ah, oh, invisible wall. What? in the hell is that? What is that abomination? What in the world? What? Okay, there's a red button. Probably gonna press this. Okay, I don't think that stepping on the buttons is something that we're supposed to do. Okay, either that's just a coincidence and it keeps going back and forth, or we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Oh! Okay. I get it now. I know what we're supposed to do. So you step on one side, it activates the opposite side. Now you don't step on that button, and you get the cat to ram it. Or at least it looks like a cat. Or a fox or something like that. Yes, sir. Ram over here, bud. Okay, that's not gonna do. He's not gonna ram again on time, probably. Of course. Okay, we should be good this time. Come over here. Ram. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Ram me. Come on now. Yes, sir. Now we come on over here. Come on. Do it again. Yes, sir. T-Rex or something as well. Oh, here it is. That's the way it is. Are you serious right now? What in the hell? 
how did the developers keep coming up with these wacky ass characters? Bro, so weird. Hey, I'm starting to like this system of communication. It's hard to do what we want to do without speaking of each other in private for a suspicious amount. And you know how they handle suspicious in this place. What I don't like is having to sometimes leave our messages at this floor. As much as I understand that it is necessary sometimes, I just can't help but feel watched down here. Anyway, I've collected the data of all the children currently enrolled in the kindergarten and left them at your desk. I've marked the, my preferred genome donors and you to do the same on the sheet. We can then exclude any students that aren't marked by both of us and then from the smaller pool of candidates pick which one to proceed with. Golly, so they were doing experiments on the children. Not quite ready for work? Go through here. I'm always not ready for work. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, we gotta take this up here. Golly, it's dark over there. Queen Balsilia is looking for crystals for her crown. Oh, for eight crystals to get your prize. Okay, so it's another one of these things. Okay. Simple enough. Let's just go. But that's two. Three. Four. Five. And six. Ooh. What's this? Oh. Let's go. They tried to hide it from me, but I saw it. Let's go. Okay, all. Okay, so we only got seven. So there is one that I didn't see. Where could that be? Oh, there it is. Got you. There we go. Aha! Gotcha. Thank you very much. Okay. We have another key card. Oh, looks like you use it over here. We haven't used a drone like a single time in this video. That's great. To be honest, I kind of forgot it existed. <laughs> hey, we passed all the tests. Let's go. That's the cat thing. There's the final piece. Let's go. I like this guy's voice. They cited some end of the world scenario where whatever's in the queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokes. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. The ultimate jokester. There was nobody better to be made, even if by me. With the sheriff occupied, thanks to you, reaching the queen will be a piece of cake. I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. Bro. This man's walk cycle is jank as hell. <laughs> like, why? I don't even know, bro. Oh, that turned red, I'm pretty sure. Come here, drone. <laughs> well, I called it. We needed to use the drone. 
right as I said that we haven't used the drone a single time and oh. Okay, the cat thing's gone. That's gonna be a bit of a problem, I can guarantee. Alright, uh, we gotta get back to the kingdom. We gotta save Queen Basilia. Should we put the part in first or oh. Okay. Nope, we're going up here first. <laughs> oh the little baby chip baby Apollo's up here too. Your Majesty! I have finally come to do what I was made for. And deliver my jokes! This is my best back yet! I command you to leave and not tell any jokes! Golly! Oh no! Look at what you have done! What the oh, hell? They grow up so fast! Fun! 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 Oh my! Still got the snake puppet on his hand. But you know what will happen if I laugh? I do. And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore. I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler. I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hold on. <laughs> Are you serious right now, bro? That was the joke you wanted to tell her? Was exactly. So. Come on, let's go. Oh, my God! Oh, he's quick. First of all, there was no indication that he was even behind us. And second of all, why was he so quick? <laughs> There's no way that I'm going to be able to get there on time. The naughty ones are escaping! I've managed to get the elevator to work. Okay, so he just poofed out of existence now all of a sudden. Alright then. He bugged out completely. Oh yeah, he's way behind now, okay. Oh, we got it this time. Bro just teleported to the elevator. And why is Thinger Flynn here? Everything we've worked so hard to build. Just ruined. I've let the other prisoners go. Grab this one. Things he knows will definitely be useful. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. Golly. Damn. And that's it. Golly. We got this guy down here with six, which is weird because the next game should be number five. But uh, I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, 
So that was the ending to Garden of Bam Bam 4. Even though I'm sure a majority of people that are watching this video have already seen the end. But, uh, yeah. Without further ado, that was Garden of Bam Bam. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. Subscribe down below so you don't miss when I upload my next video. And, uh, yeah. Until then, see you guys next time. Peace.